Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Got another video for you guys. Another article here from Health IT Security. Before we dive in, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below, share the video. All right, let's get to it. Practice Max ransomware attack impacts 258,000 at Florida Urgent Care Center. Fast Track Urgent Care Center began notifying 258,411 individuals of the 2021 practice max ransomware attack that resulted in unauthorized data access. Wow, so they're just now notifying the victims of this attack that took place last year sometime, which is not surprising, especially with these healthcare organizations. A lot of them are slow to move. Or they've just been owned so badly that the investigation takes a while to wrap up. All right, here. Fast Track Urgent, Center, or Ur Urgent Care Center which has a network of urgent care centers in Tampa Bay, Florida, began notifying 258,411 individuals of a 2021 ransomware attack that originated at its billing vendor practice max. All right, billing vendor, that's a third party source, as you can see here. And a lot of times you'll see that happening. These third parties will have all kinds of PHI, which is protected health information or other forms of potentially sensitive information on their systems and their systems are not as secure or they have lots of different security holes in their, their network or systems and they end up getting breached. So the attackers get in there and they compromise all your information from your organization, your healthcare organization. And then you'll get notified by the third party like, hey, uh, we got owned. So they took a lot of your information, by the way. So you might want to let your, your uh, clients know. Let's see here. Practice, Practice Max discovered suspicious activity on May 1st and later determined that a ransomware attack had occurred between April 17th and May 5th. The vendor restored the system by May 6th, but determined that an author, unauthorized actor had potentially accessed and stolen files containing PHI. What a surprise. <clears throat> see, Humana and Anthem notified some members that the protected health information had been exposed. This incident on May 10th. Could not determine whether any fast track patients had been impacted at the time. Okay, see, that's what I was talking about earlier. They didn't. They didn't. The investigation took a while. Then they finally determined that that organization, that health organization's information had been stolen in their attack. See, February 14, 2022, Practice Max informed Fast Track the first time that Fast Track's customer and patient data may have been impacted as a result of the incident. Investigation was still ongoing at the time. Let's see, your customer and patient data have been subject to unauthorized access as a result of the incident. Then finally on June 6th, Practice Max confirmed that an authorized individual was able to access Fast Track's customer and patient data. Exposed information potentially including or included names, social security numbers, password numbers, treatment and diagnosis, information, driver's license numbers, birth dates, health insurance information, and financial information. That is a lot of sensitive information that can be used for all kinds of fraud, medical fraud, identity theft, what have you. They'll probably make a pretty penny on the dark web somewhere. Let's see, another organization. Let's see here. American Dental Association faces ransomware attack. ADA began notifying patients around April 21st, ransomware attack that potentially resulted in data theft. Montana Department of Justice website showed. Let's see. In April, the Texas and New York Dental Association reported technical difficulties leading to the ADA to shut down its systems. Unauthorized actor had access and potentially acquired some data. No specifics released, apparently. But the data related to names and other personal information. Let's see, they didn't complete the investigation until June 10th. Wow, that's, see, that's a lot of, it's a long time. I mean, if these guys got, if the bad guys got nearest to all that sensitive information, they have plenty of time to either commit fraud in your name. As part of our ongoing commitment to security of information, we are also reviewing and enhancing existing policies and procedures to reduce the likelihood of a similar future event. Of course, to notify law enforcement, I'm pretty sure a ADA had been breached before. I think I saw an article a while back about them getting breached. But as you can see, 
cyber attacks, ransomware attacks, any other type of you know data breach and stuff is running rampant in the healthcare industry. Make sure you guys are looking into that. A lot of health organizations are looking for good cybersecurity professionals and make sure you're doing research and building your skill set up in these areas so you can better defend your organization. So your organization doesn't end up on the front page of the news or on the HHS wall of shame. If you don't know what that is, I recommend going and doing some research on there. Usually when these health organizations get breached and it makes that criteria, they'll be posted for the public view on that uh, notification website. I like to call it the wall of shame because you're basically being shamed. Like, hey, we got owned because we weren't doing the right things or we didn't have the right controls in place, et cetera, et cetera. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Thank you.